beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel or hello there if you have not been here before. This is my gory, glam, extra as punk Pennywise. Can't not do a Halloween series as your first series and not do a Pennywise like it's just gotta happen. It's a got to be. If you'd like to know how I got this insane look, then please keep watching. So for this look, I'm gonna do what I normally do and I'm gonna start with my eyes first. So I'm gonna start off with priming my eyes with my e.l.f. primer, which looks like this. And I'm just gonna put that on my eye and then blend it in with my fingers. So for this look, it's a very much red. So I'm gonna do just like a really, really easy, basic red smoky eye. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm gonna go in with this color. And with my fluffy blending brush, I'm just gonna take that and put that on my crease line. And once you've blended it into your crease, I'm then gonna go in and take a smaller kind of fluffy brush, but it's more for like defining. And this one is by Studio in London. And I'm gonna go in with this color by my Morphe 15 Air Nightmaster palette. And just darken up in the crease. And once that's done, I'm then gonna go in with an even darker color and just kind of do an outer corner on my eye. And then I'm going to be taking this color from my Morphe 25B bronzed mocha palette. I'm gonna go with my pencil brush from MAC, place that into the outer corners of my eyes to give it like a smoky effect, baby. And once that's all blended out, I'm then going to take a brighter red shade and put it into my inner corners. And with that, I'm going to be taking this color from my Morphe Social Butterfly Palette. And with that, I'm going to be taking my big, large, fluffy brush from Urban Decay because I'm going to be adding on a metallic color on top. And I'm just going to kind of glide that on to my inner corner. Just as kind of like a base for the metallic shade. And then to finish off the eye look, I'm going to be taking a shimmer metallic color on my inner corners. But first of all, I'm going to get my eyeshadow brush from MAC. Spray it with a bit of Fix Plus because that always amplifies the metallicness. I need a new, I need a new Fix Spray. It's kind of coming out like a, it's not performing well, let's put it that way. I'm going to be taking this shade and just take that and put that on the inner corner of my eye. Like so. So to finish off the eye look, I'm gonna go and do my brows and my lashes off camera. And then when I am done, I'll be back. So my brows and my lashes are done. I've also primed my face. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and do my foundation. And with that, I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match in the color 3W3. D, which I found out when I was trying to link in other videos is actually called golden beige. Helpful. And I'm just going to take a bit of that on the back of my hand, like so. And with my beauty blender, put it in, honey. And once that's blended in, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and take my Lasting Finish Breathable Concealer from Rimmel in the color 001. And again, put a bit of the back on my hand and put in with my Beauty Blender. And once the concealer's in, I'm then gonna go in with my fluffy powder brush and my Hello Flawless Powder from Benefit this little beauty and I'm just gonna go set, I'm actually gonna set my whole face because I'm doing things on my whole face. And once that's done, I'm then gonna go in and just kind of fix my eyeshadow where it's kind of 
Got a bit confused with the foundation. Hazy posy lemon squeezy. And then next, I'm gonna go in and draw the Halloween -y features to my face. Well, Halloween -y. Pennywise, darling. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw up my nose. For that, I'm going to be taking the lip liner called Vino from MAC, which is in this color. It's quite hard to see on camera. And it's obviously trying to mimic a wine color, but it comes up quite ready. It's a really pretty color. quite happy with it. Before I draw, draw the little thing that lines up my face, I'm actually going to do my lips because it's a lot easier then to kind of draw it out. And I'm going to be doing like a contoured lip. So with that, I'm going to be first of all t li lining my lips and I'm going to do that with the same colour, Vino. Voila. And then I'm going to be taking two colours to fill them in. So I'm going to be first of all taking the colour Sin from MAC. And I'm just going to be doing the outer corners of my lips. And then for the middle of my lips, I'm going to be taking the colour D for Danger, also by MAC, which is a really, really pretty deep red. I'm going to put that on the inner bits of my lips. And then just kind of dab the corner together. And you got yourself a lip. So the next thing I'm going to go and do is I'm going to draw in my Pennywise marks. So for that, I'm going to take the same Vino pencil, lip pencil, but I'm going to very lightly draw on because I don't, if I make a, well, if I cock up, I'm a bit buggered. So with that, I ain't done this before, okay? So don't be judgy. I've done a clown look before and it absolutely flipping fails, so it's not going on YouTube. <sighs> I'm just going to try and draw a little line here. And draw a little line here. And try and match them up. And ta-da! So I'm just gonna go in and thicken that up with the same pencil, and then we'll go from there. So now that I've drawn my basic lines, and I'm gonna go in with my paint bot pot by Makeup Forever, and I'm gonna be taking a mixture of the red and the black, and just kind of laying, layering them on top of each other to make a more of a ghoulish look. And I'll be taking my lip brush from MAC. It's the thinnest brush I've got, so it's just gonna have to do. And I'm gonna first take a bit of red and just kind of go over the top of the line. And then I'm gonna go in with a bit of black just to kind of go over it a bit. So I've added a tiny bit of black just to kind of spooky it up a little bit. And usually what this would be what most people do for Pennywise. But I'm gonna my cutting so scary. So one thing I've been, I kind of, you can't really do that much of it. I mean, I had to fit it in at least once while I was doing my Halloween series. They're the best effects, baby. So I'm, just, I'm actually gonna do a slit throat, Nick. So, hello down there. I've just gotta decide, I've decided to kind of lower it down a bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. For this, the main thing you need is liquid latex and that I have got from online Amazon. It comes in a little bottle like this. The best brand I would say is Ben Nye, but because I'm unemployed and I can't afford jack shit at the moment, I can't afford Ben Nye, but I will be buying some when I get a job and then I'll be doing a lot more fun things. But it kind of, this one kind of comes with a little thing in the middle of it. I won't zoom with my beautiful face in the background. The best way to do this is, well the easiest way, is liquid latex and toilet roll. I'm not going to say which toilet roll I'm using because I've got no freaking idea. But what I like to do, take a few sheets, take a sheet at a time, and just kind of 
split it one sheet in half and then you're just going to kind of lay them on top of each other and kind of make it, I like to do it like around here, like around where my double chin mark is. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just gonna layer some of this, first of all, on my neck. We kind of use it as a glue. Let's stick this on top. Now I've got to sit like this because if I do this, it's going to wrinkle up. And I'm just going to start applying more layers. And then you just need to sit like this for a minute and let it dry. While it's still drying, the main thing you've got to do is put, before you do anything, because otherwise it's just going to look shit, isn't it? Foundation, so you need to kind of blend it into the skin. So with that, I'm going to take my True Match foundation again. Back of hand, and with my Beauty Blender, just blend it and put it on top of this. Now you need some scissors, and you're just going to cut down the middle. And then you just need to kind of cut away at some of the bits that's like out here. And once that's done, I'm gonna go in back with my, and this is gonna be the main, what this, this is the main show now, babes. My Makeup Forever palette, I'm gonna take the black color and this just kind of shitty brush from Pseudo London. I'm just gonna paint the inside here. Then with my eyeshadow fluffy blending brush here, I'm going to take some red eyeshadow, the same one that I used on my eye, but more of like more of the darker shades, and then just kind of put them around the skin bits, the flappy bits, to look like you know, they're fucked up. And then this is the, where the exciting bit comes in. Then I like to take my scabby blood, which looks like this on the inside. Can't really see, it's quite a thick consistency. And I like to take a, a cotton bud. It comes out quite thick and put that on the inside bit here. And then this is where the even messier part comes in. I like to go in with my fake blood and just kind of drip that in here. And then yeah, you got yourself a bloody neck, mate. Bloody egg, bloody neck. <laughs> here is your <coughs> gory Pennywise. Help my neck! Someone's tried to cut off my double chin! Yoo Anywho, thank you very much for watching. This is my final look of my Halloween collection. Had to, had to end it on a good one. I hope you've enjoyed all the videos so far. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll have some fun things coming up soon. Love you!